This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, August the 21st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Satellite image over the southeastern U.S. Uh, features an interesting cloud deck the, along the uh, surface cold front that is approaching us. But we do have mostly cloudy skies across central Alabama. That cold front is expected to move into Alabama later today. And uh, where it stalls is going to be one of the best questions asked as to what our future weather looks like. In the upper atmosphere, that front is being dragged and driven to the southeast by a trough over the central part of the country, stretching from the western Great Lakes down into Missouri. That trough will be moving off to the east, and as it does, that front will become stationary across the southeastern U.S. Uh, the uh, surface observations this morning, you can see the cloudy skies being reported across the northern half of the state of Alabama, but it's mostly clear across the uh, southern sections. Radar a little more active this morning as we see uh, the uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, along that frontal zone. And uh, in central Alabama, we don't have anything right now. Most of the shower is actually across the Tennessee River Valley. But that will change today as we expect to see numerous showers and thunderstorms. Watch warning map is not too cluttered today. We have uh, the green areas and those uh, uh, dark red areas. The green areas are the dark green areas are flash flood watches. The red areas are flash flood warnings. And up in the northwestern U.S., they have some heat advisories. That's those pink areas. QPF for the next five days uh, indicates that mu much of the rain over the southeastern U.S. will be along the Gulf Coast, with kind of a minimum across uh, western Tennessee and the Mid-South area and North Alabama. Storm Protection Center is out looking marginal risk in the mid-Atlantic states today that extends across eastern Pennsylvania up into uh, a little bit of New York. For day two tomorrow, uh, there is no outlook areas, no slight or marginal with just uh, thunderstorms. And then on day three, which is uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, we see a marginal risk from Kansas up across uh, Iowa and the eastern sections uh, of Nebraska uh, into uh, Minnesota and parts of the eastern uh, uh, third of the Dakotas. Tropics have become quite active. We have three areas that we're watching, Fiona and then Invest uh, 99 and then Number two out there, or just coming off the African coast, Invest 90. Let's take these one at a time. Fiona has managed to maintain its intensity at a tropical storm strength, uh, and the Hurricane Center is keeping it at that strength for the next, uh, oh, 36 hours or so before it's expected to be downgraded to a depression. Now, Invest 99 uh, is looking still a little ragged, but a little bit better as uh, we're seeing a little bit more convection closer into the center. And that future track of that is bringing it over towards the Lesser Antilles. It's about 1,200 miles uh, east of the Lesser Antilles this morning, and it could become a storm that affects the Bahamas. And the question is going to be after that whether it affects the Gulf or stays and recurves uh, along the eastern uh, coast of the U.S. And then Invest 90 is uh, just coming off the African continent and looking uh, pretty good with some pretty good convection there, some of the convection a little far from the center. Uh, that storm is uh, likely to follow more of a track of Fiona and uh, go west for a couple of days before it begins to turn more northwesterly and stay out in the central Atlantic. All right, the 0 6 c GFS model run this morning, and uh, there's our surface front coming down into our area, so look for showers to be fairly numerous today, highs in the upper 80s as clouds and showers hold it back. The trough is moving through the area fairly briskly so that by Monday that trough is over New England, uh, and that's what's uh, going to allow the front to basically stall out. Now, yesterday, the GFS was suggesting it would stall out well to the south of Birmingham. Uh, this run is suggesting perhaps maybe in the Birmingham area or just slightly south of the area. Uh, but uh, Monday could be a situation where we're going to see a little bit better in the way of sunshine and fewer clouds and fewer showers. And we might not see any showers, but then again, we might see a few showers since the dew points are going to be still uh, fairly high back into the upper 60s. Uh, but that'll be drier than we've experienced here lately with dew points in the 70s. 
Tuesday, the trough is gone, and we're beginning to see the ridge build back over. And I think Tuesday is going to be one of the better days for us as we have high pressure off to our northeast, that northeasterly flow bringing in slightly drier air, and even the GFS hinting at the possibility that we might even see a bit of a wedge, probably not enough to affect Alabama, but maybe affecting north Georgia. Wednesday, the ridge is in place, and uh, that uh, also shifts the high further to our east. And as it does, the return flow comes about, and uh, the flow comes back around to the south. So we see moisture ramp back up fairly quickly. So Wednesday and through the latter part of the week, we're going to be back into those daily chances for showers. Thursday, the ridge is... Uh, holding across all of the southeastern U.S. very strong. We see that same thing on Friday. Uh, and once again, it looks like primarily just uh, chances for showers uh, driven by the heat of the afternoon. Saturday, the ridge is in place. And Sunday, the ridge is still there. But of course, now we're beginning to watch that tropical system come uh, at us. And the, this GFS run is a little um, less bullish on a Gulf solution and a more bullish on an Atlantic solution. Uh, so, but once again, we'll be just in those daily shower chances uh, on the, the around the 20, 30 percent category. Looking out into Voodoo Country, uh, the GFS holds that system uh, as it builds a big ridge across the southern half of the United States, but it holds that tropical system in the northern Bahamas. Finally, begins to take it out to the sea around the third of September, as we develop a trough over the eastern half of the country. And, of course, that trough would uh, help to cool things down. And that certainly looks like maybe another potential for a cold front to make it through the southeastern U.S. And by the end of the period, around the 5th of September, we see that the big tropical system has moved uh, well up uh, past the United States and up into the Canadian Maritime Provinces. And uh, we see the ridge building back in. So I'm afraid the heat is not over just yet. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann will be back with the next one first thing on Monday. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed.